In this video today, we're going to cultivate and we're going to understand what does it take for you to be at peace with yourself. See, being at peace with yourself, meaning that you don't have any prop, the world outside of you is not able to bother the world inside of you. Because when you study things like mysticism and astrology and, and uh, spiritual tools of that nature, you sort of understand that the heart, the organ itself, is a realm of experience. Just like how you experience in your brain here, thoughts and feelings, you also experience feelings in the heart. So the goal is to get this heart chakra to settle. See, when I was younger, dumber, and stupider, anybody could say anything to me. Someone can come to me and be like, hey, you black ass nigga. Hey, uh, you this and this and that. And I would let my heart become very unsettled. My heart would become shaky. It would start to beat faster. It would start to cause my body to become more nervous simply because I wasn't at peace with myself. See, when you are at peace with yourself, you will be at peace with the world because the world is not doing anything to you. You are actually the one affecting the world and we actually think that the world is affecting us. Now, yes, the world is real. Objectivity is real. Externalizing the external realm, oh, it's very real. But it doesn't mean that it has to affect your peace. See, for me to truly master peace, being at peace with myself, I had to stop making excuses that tell myself, no, I'm allowed to be mad at this moment. No, I'm allowed to be angry. No, I'm allowed to be pissed off. Now, let's not get it twisted, folks. Anger, being pissed off, it has a purpose. It comes from your root chakra. And what it's telling you is, is that something has to change. Because there's no way that you would be angry unless something had to change. We have to cover that on a separate, on a slightly separate uh, video and things like that. See, your root chakra and your heart chakra really are both part of the same world. It's just the speculative realm, the realm that nobody sees. Nobody knows what you desire. Nobody knows what you're passionate about until you express it. Nobody knows how you really feel until you express it. So by being at peace with yourself, you also create the right objective form to show people that, hey, you're not bothered, that you have no issues, that you have no problem. Because if you really understand life, you will understand that the visible realm comes from the invisible realm. And the more that you dwell on the things that bother you, <laughs> it's going to it's gonna come and manifest way faster because now you're honing in on that. See, the mind is like honing in on things. So if we hone in at the space of not being at peace, no matter the situation, no matter the cause, that's why Jesus always says may my peace be with you because you should be peaceful regardless of what's going on in the world and you carry that vibrational signature all around you see right now we're appearing as flesh and blood but we have this vibrational aura this cloud that surrounds us where energy is traveling constantly where this where this energy being in this flesh and blood that's energetically interacting with the world and so when we interact with the world, we don't have to allow the world to affect us in such a way that it is negative to us. Now, go through that experience, learn from that experience, but don't allow that experience to put you in a space where you are rattled, where you are spooked, where you feel unsafe, where you feel emotionally insecure. Now, these emotional insecurities, you might have to go to the past and deal with that. But what I'm talking about is being at peace because you are gathering a chakra, just like how Naruto forms the Rasengan in his hand, slowly and surely, you are doing the very same thing. This is why it does not matter what's actually going on in the world. What matters is your state of mentalism, because whatever you are paying attention to, that is the density you're going to bring forth. Now, this is why it's so important, because Literally, if you pay attention to being angry, pissed off, and hateful, you will create more situations because you are already vibrating in that space. So now whatever experiences that come outwardly, you will be angry and pissed off because you're already angry and pissed off. 
So now that situation will play out as the trigger mechanism to release that wave of energy. Now, what if you was at the space of being at peace with yourself all the time? You would begin to cultivate that space. It would become a chakra around you. You would, it would join with your chakra because we are creating plasma beings. We are actually communing with plasma beings and different spectrums of energies at that. But what would happen is you would be so unbothered by the world because the same situation that happens to person A and the same situation that happens to person B is the same situation. But it's your mentality that determines the result of that situation. Down to even at a job interview, you might be getting ready to work as a manager for, for the homeless shelter or whatever. But the person A is so pissed off, is so angry, they need the money. See, they're thirsty and that's not attractive to the manager that's looking to hire them. They're already angry, they're already pissed off, they're coming in with that vibrational chi, which is the living word which you cannot silence no matter what the fuck you do. So that person is going to pick that up. And you're going to start playing out that anger and that hate through body languages, through certain words, through certain verbal tones and things like that. So, but when you come into that situation with that peaceful disposition that, hey, the other person is saying, I need this job. I'm thirsty. You're saying, I don't need this. I'm okay either way. Why? Because I'm at peace with myself. So I'm at peace with this situation, whatever result happens happens and i'm not particularly bothered and it's not gonna make my life better or make my life worse because i can go get a job anywhere else so choose to be at peace with yourself and make it a dedication for you to be at peace with yourself because when you are at peace with yourself that is the most beautiful thing in the world imagine walking around and not fighting yourself not hating yourself not dissing yourself. You know the things I used to tell myself when I was younger? Oh, bro, you don't even want to know. You know what I'm saying? So now that I'm at peace with myself, now that I'm in that space of gathering the energy of peacefulness, which is already in me, I just have to choose the vibrational spectrum because we are either doing the light side of our gift or the dark side of our gift. So choose, always choose the higher octave of your particular energy. And if you need assistance in exploring your uh, psyche from the from an astrological, neurological perspective, and you're looking for someone to assist you to connect the dots, you can um, go to my email below. Let me know, hey, brother, uh, brother 11, I'm looking for a one free page report. Here is my date of birth, and I'm going to send you back a report with one page that's going to explain to you, you. So I love you guys. Appreciate you. Not much you can do about it. I'm going to see y'all on the next video. You better believe it. Real shit.